Okay. Uh, sorry for the little in and out there. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I am that my thing, my dashboard says the correct game. Um, since I have switched games and it doesn't seem to switch. Yeah, unless you restart. So cool. We're going to try and play City Skylines. Um, I have to actually set it up, so we'll see. Uh, I assume I'll have to switch to windowed mode because I can't usually make this. If you haven't played City Skylines before, um, it's uh, um, it's basically SimCity. Okay, let's see options. But not ruined by windowed. EA. Yeah, but it's yeah better than the most recent one. Okay. Um, I also want to like minimize the taskbar. Toolbars now. Hmm. Taskbar settings. Okay, I'll leave that for now. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, add. Let's see, let's see properties. Still gonna be two. Could also like put it down like that and up a little like so. There we go. Um, I might have to move myself to updating the game, which is a little worrying. Um, let's do two rivers. Is it not updating what's on the screen? Why is it not updating what's on the screen? Capture that window. Properties. Tire window. No. Uh, properties. Refresh. Okay, let's try not that. Let's try add a new one. Skylines. Okay. Dang it. Why is it not? One more time. Uh, add window capture. Or maybe game capture? Would that work better? I feel like game capture never works. Window capture usually is the one that works. Game capture. Let's try cities. Uh, 
Application City Skylines. Okay. Well, that seems like it worked. Uh, and then just move down. Move down. Move down. There we go. Okay. Um. Hello, jet lag. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were done, um, and I decided to play something more relaxing, uh, by which I mean City Skylines. So, if you haven't played this, uh, what's the, this is the key to do that. It's basically SimCity, but better. Um, not better, but like, more, the modern, it's, modern incarnation is better than modern SimCity. Oh, that's new, what's that? Elevation step. <clears throat> okay, so let's build some roads, uh, and connect them. What is that? It's a rock or something. Um, okay, there's the water. We'll build towards the water. And we'll put zoning, uh, residential zones maybe here, and commercial zone here, and then we gotta do electricity, let's do some wind turbines, oh, nice. <laughs> um, station to get the water in, and then you need a downstream sewage station to get the water out. Bad water. And so... Get all this area watered. And then connect to that. Power. Already power to that pump. We'll get power to this pump. Okay. I'm back to tree field. Oh shit. The problem is that with this uh, options. made it smaller, but I may have to do it that way because otherwise I can't see the bottom of the window. So let's edit this back to big. <coughs> Something like that anyway. Um, so here's here's a um, here's a nice thing about City Skylines compared to some other Sim games is that it's tiered. In that at the beginning of the game, they, you don't have everything unlocked. Literally, all you can do right now is roads, power, water, and zoning, and that's it. Um, uh, as you as you get as your population increases, you actually unlock uh, other things that you can build in the game. So it, uh, <laughs> um, interesting. Um, so it actually, as you go, uh, it, the, the complexion goes up gradually, and that's true every time you play. Um, and I find that pretty interesting, personally. Let's do, like, this way. Okay. 
and yeah, so it kind of self tutorializes, which is pretty nice. Let's see how they are doing with water. And sometimes, you know, it takes you a while to learn how to unlock the basics, and that's fine. Um, but it, like, doesn't give you more than you can... It doesn't give you more before you're ready, which is kind of a cool feature. Is the sewage treatment not running? Why is this not running? Not operating. Hmm. Don't quite understand why that is. It's powered. Alright. It doesn't, just doesn't list as using. Okay. <coughs> well, maybe that'll work itself out. Um. Let's make this industrial. We'll put a little bit of commercial in the middle. This is getting off the highway, this is getting on the highway. So maybe I should. Do I have one way streets? I do have one way streets. Um. Oh, I want to do upgrade. Nope. Uh. Street that goes up here so that be deleting these power lines as soon as I can because power lines get in the way but they are necessary in the early game to power places there we go now let me make sure everybody's got water as well I need to be careful not to spend too much here because I'm approaching my the bottom of my budget <laughs> Urban Econ. Of course. Yeah. Um, there's something about this that, uh, I don't know, I find super relaxing. Just like, you know, making the little city and watching it grow and be happy. Um, the budget is, I have not actually unlocked, oh, I have unlocked the economy panel. So right now I only can control the budget for, um, for power and water and I cannot control taxes or loans yet, but I can see like, so income is based on population and zones. Um, and the, your expenses are based on, you know, city expenses. Uh, I, you might be able to turn on, um, natural disasters, but as far as I know, there aren't any. Why has this person got a little, like, gas mask on? That little tweeter guy. I don't understand that, but, um, and I have info views here. Right now I don't have that many. I can view citizen happiness. Residential happiness is somewhat low. Industrial happiness is high. 
Um, I can view prevailing wind conditions. I can view traffic. Um, traffic routes is new. Any piece of road, vehicle, pedestrian, or... Okay, so you can sort of see where things are going and how the traffic flows. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. There's power view, water view, and views off. Um, there are some bad things that can happen due to the simulation. Like I've gotten into a plague spiral before, where you you're not you don't have enough like waste collection, and so like everybody just keeps getting sick all the time because there's so much waste around, and then they keep getting each other sick. It's a cholera spiral. Uh, is this like a fake radio station going on? Pirate radio, maybe? <laughs> yeah, apparently the little background music is now city stations. Change the radio station. Okay, so I can turn off this radio if I want. <laughs> but uh, apparently I can listen to radio. Right, I can also speed up the simulation, which I almost always do. why Mars radio is a thing. Okay, so I hit a population of 420 people, so I get uh, I have unlocked the next tier. I can look at taxes and loans in my economy panel. Uh, I have access to new services, garbage, healthcare, and education. I can build landfills, elementary schools, and medical clinics. Um, so let's build a medical clinic. You also get a uh, cash boost when this happens. Um... Let's do a school right there, or a clinic right there, and a school right here. to wait, I guess. We'll probably end up going here, by the highway. So who wants to be by the highway, anyway? 
Oh, it's out of city limits. If I Slums! Do it yeah, so I need 4,000 before I can make this landfill. But my money is increasing, so I will wait. Actually, it's the other way around, isn't it? It's not that slums want to be by the highway. It's the highway wants, wants to be, to be by, by the slums. slums. Yep. Yeah. Cheaper to build highway through land that is low value, as it turns out. Which is why highways generally go through bad neighborhoods. I'm sure uh, having a goddamn freeway stations? running through your neighborhood doesn't improve property values. Oh shit, there are different. City Skylines, Classicals, Cities Radio, Gold FM. This is gold FM. Oh, okay. Uh, it says, please don't use that for streaming because it, it contains licensed music. <laughs> I will ignore that then. Uh, I could do classical, though. Uh, let's go to classical radio. Is the power grid bad? Oh, I might just not have enough electric availability. Shit, and I don't have enough money. I gotta wait until 6,000. Fire department, police department. Ooh, specializations. I do like specializations. Um, police station, firehouse. Okay, so let's pause and start by putting in new power here. Um, where's my water availability? Fine, okay. Good. Um, then I wanted to check. Oh, right, right, right. I want to check my resources. So resources. There's some farmland down here. Some mining area here. This is so. This is like oil, minerals, farmland, forestry. Um, so I could make this, I'll probably make, I got kind of nothing here. Maybe it'll just be regular industry and then I'll do some forest industry over here. So zones, uh, let you build a thing and say like, hey, everything in here has to follow certain rules, including any industry in this area must only be like timber or whatever. Um, actually kind of just want to make that like residential though. I don't want to make it, um, is it, nope, wrong. Oh, there it is. It's like right click. Um, so I like doing forestry industry because, um, It's, it's like um, non-polluting, or it's at least less polluting than standard industry, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that here. Okay, let's press play again. And you can rename these districts if you want, but you can set individual policies per district. So I can say like, the city policies are like, we should all have smoke detectors. Um, but the, uh, or I can set them on a, uh, you know, like a, a district by district basis like that, which is kind of cool. Do I want to make this some industrial areas? Okay, hold on. Let's say... I would like this district to be focused on that. Um, and then 
maybe I'll just do a little bit of it on the edge. So we'll get some blue in the middle there so that there's not a lot of residential directly next to the industry. I don't like that. Makes them angry. Um, and then we'll say you can do some forestry over here if you want. Oops. There we go. And I should be able to bulldoze this here now because the grid is connected by houses, so it does not need these anymore. <clears throat> there we go. Oh no, there's a fire! And I haven't built any goddamn firehouses yet. Um, so I guess there are some... Oh no, I don't have money for a firehouse! Shit! Oh, I'm so close. Please, please give me a little more money so I can build a firehouse right across from the fire. <laughs> come on, come on! It's like a hundred more bucks! Seventy? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Fire station, please put out that fire! <laughs> did they do it? I think they did it. What is this? Oh, it's a convenience store. How convenient. Alright, and then I should probably put in police next. Spiral would be a good name for like a a punk or like heavy metal band. There's like a grunge card. core or something. I, there's like a magic card or something called that. <laughs> Plague Spiral? Yeah, Plague Spiral. I've heard that before somewhere. <laughs> That, this little icon means that someone's being robbed right here and I don't have police to take care of it at the moment. I think I need another 12,000 for the police station, right? Yeah. I will put them right next to the fire department. Or maybe I'll put them over here. should be more towards the middle so they can service everybody. I gotta wait. I gotta wait for the money. Yes, I know. There is a police lack crisis here. I was like, you know what I really need is uh, So my people will be well educated. Yeah, put another elementary school there. New services. Oh yeah, and if you do like a, the right things or like certain things, you get um, you unlock like special buildings that give you special powers. 
All right, cops, do your job. All right, all the police cars are in use, so they are, yeah, I see the little flashing lights going off to see the disturbance here. Look at that. He is inspecting the crime scene at the Big Bite. Now he is responding to a call at the box factory. I should connect roads on this end so that they have a little bit of an easier time getting around to places. Eventually, once I unlock, like, nicer um, roads with trees and stuff, I will replace these roads with bigger roads. <coughs> For now, let's build more road this way. Will be my like main thoroughfare roads. And let's see here. I want that to be commercial zone because I don't want too much residential without some commercial. Because where would people shop? They gotta go get their milk and stuff. Uh, orange is industrial. So the, yeah, so the yellow sections are industry. Right here I have like standard industry stuff. Um, and here I've got forestry industry stuff because it's on a forest. <coughs> and because I set that zone to be a forest zone. So right now I have unlocked farming industry and forest industry and generic industry. Um, I can do some farming once I like build out to down here because there is some good farmland there. Uh, in fact, I could zone that right now, I think. <coughs> yeah. And say, okay, anything that happens, any industry that happens in this bubble should be farming once we get there. Oh yeah. And canals. So canals are a thing. Um, I've never used them. I don't actually really understand them what, or what they do. I just know that they're a thing that exists. <laughs> okay. Um, let's build out this. And let's put in some more residential. I will get ports eventually. I don't believe I have ports unlocked yet, but I will eventually have ports. All right, how's water and electricity doing? Could use more electric stuff once I get enough for another one of these guys. Yeah, you can bulldoze abandoned buildings um, to encourage new things to build there. But it's, it's kind of an interesting thing because all it really does is, um, like, gives you something to do when you have not much else to do. Right. Might help if these people had water. Another thousand here. Mm 
many ways to finish a source line. It allows things to be, I don't know, better, something. Leave that for now. That person should be able to get water. Oh, I have not sped it back up. Oh, it's raining. And you can also like change the flow of rivers. Like there is actually water physics in this. So if you like landscape a certain way, you can actually make the river flow the other way, which is kind of funny. Uh, thousand bucks and I will build another power station. We'll wait and we'll watch our happy little folks at their nighttime. That's an ambulance. It is transporting a medical patient for treatment to the clinic, presumably. You can like actually follow uh, individual people if you so choose. You can like, this is Shoban Cook, resides at the Oriental Residence, going to the quiet corner shop, currently unemployed and uneducated teen. There's a yakisoba tasty noodles place and Sally's. This looks like some kind of unicorn themed things. There's a marketplace mall, I think. There's a playground in the background of this place. Oh, that's the school. These people have some nice deck on their roof. Some chairs and tables and things. back up so I can get uh, some folks so I can build more electric. Oh yeah, the industry place is not uh, doing well electrically at the moment. Not a great sign. This is this meter down here is my desire for each zone. So the higher those go up, the more people want me to build a zone of that type. Ooh, do I have like parks and things? Oh, I unlocked parks. I should make some parks, but first I gotta save money for another power station. Oh, I actually have it. Nice. So I gotta build another power station right there, so that yeah. Okay, we still could probably use like one more. We're still in the yellow, but. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that should hold us for a little bit. We were drifting back towards red there. Hey, Boomtown. So I have some new road types. I have a bus depot, so I can start building buses now. And I have a cemetery, which is important to build. Because if you do not pick up bodies, they cause the plague, you guys. Very important. <laughs> Is a dead cart a civil service that you can... Well, more or less. Yeah. Bring out shit head! Uh, let's put a cemetery there. And... Then... I was going to build some parks. That's right. 
parks make people happy. Small playground, small park. Uh, large playground, park with trees, bouncy castle, botanical garden, dog park, carousel park, Japanese garden. So, okay. For, for Jackie, I will build a dog park. More for Hobbs than for Jackie. Dog park. And for David, I will build the Japanese garden. Sorry, it's going right next to the cemetery. And then let's build... Uh, let's build some small parks. Yeah, let's build a couple other little... Oh, that one's huge. Small playground, then. And... Build the small park over here, even though it's far big. <laughs> I mean, I th I think there are street lights. Um, you don't. S yeah, there are there are street lights. See, look, that's a street light. They exist. Sorry, jet lag. That's a good joke, and people should have laughed. some more zones because people want housing and industry right now so let's bring out your shred uh, oh no there's a thing on fire fire trucks are you doing something Good. You can watch the little firemen go in and handle the fire. Where are you going? Oh, this other fire truck is coming to take care of it. Okay. Police coming to check on everybody who was in the fire. Maybe it was arson! Six thousand on another one of these guys. So we need more electric. Eventually, I will unlock better electric-producing things, but I don't want to put in like the really polluty ones in the meantime. Oh yeah, can you see stoplights at intersections? 
This one's just got stop sign, I think. Um. Yeah, there aren't a lot of good uh, traffic lights, traffic signs. For sure. That's a little disturbing. <coughs> um, so the thing is, it wants me to build more industry, but I don't want to build more polluted industry. So maybe I'll build out here and do some farmland once I get a little more money. slow speed. There we go. Why is my money going up so slow? Yeah, I want this to be at a 90 degree angle. I like that it shows the angles. That's kind of nice of them. That was a really cute radio interlude. <laughs> Alright, let me see my resources. That'll do. Okay. Uh, so I want forestry industry on this side. In Woodland Park, ironically enough named. Um, and let's get some power out to these folks. These kind people. their farms. Gotta make sure we keep enough of this. And what we're going to do also, once we can afford it, is we're going to put a fire department down here because uh, look how flammable this place is. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was very quiet, the radio, but it said something about, um, it says, uh, like, someone wrote into the station with, like, why did, um, why did Johann Sebastian Bach throw away his harpsichord, harpsichord because it was Baroque. And <laughs> the announcer was like, I know we're just joking here, but Johann, you know, we are just joking around here, but Johann Sebastian Bach loved his harpsichord and he would never have thrown it out. And <laughs> it's like, <laughs> just 
like really stuffy, like humorless person who's very cute. Okay, uh, let's put you here to help protect this fine industrial park. You could probably also use a police station when I have the monies. I could also start building bus lines, but um, I'm uh, that, that one's hard. You gotta you gotta like individually draw the bus lines, which I actually really enjoy. But I want to wait until I have more of like a downtown area, so it makes more sense to have buses. it will come eventually I I yeah jet like do you think that was thrown in as a joke for music people or do you think that was just like bad writing yeah the piano is literally because you can't change the volume on a harpsichord that's the whole deal with the piano Yep. Okay, you want me to build more residential zone. I get it. Let's do that then. Let's make oops, this zone. Let's make this all residential. And let's make this all commercial, as well as like maybe one side of this, like that, and then this can all be Not beautiful seaside restaurants, we can form them there. Doing okay on that front. Uh, could use another one of these as usual. You need so many windmills to support a city. Is the thing. Like, they're, they're good, they're clean, but they take up a lot of real estate. And prime real estate usually, too, because it's got to be shoreside because that's where the wind is. this area has water if we need to build there. That's a big problem that I tend to have where I like build something and then forget that like I don't have water there until they start complaining. <laughs> buy new adjacent land plots. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I think I'm okay for now. Look at my sewage flowing down the river. 
I'm gonna get better sewage. Not for a while, I guess. Okay, that's doing okay. Could use another fireplace. Fireman. Around the industry area. How are we doing on education? Oh, we're doing fine. about parks? Do we need more parks? We could use always use more parks. Let's give people another dog park. Or no, let's give them a park with trees. I gotta watch my traffic carefully. I have historically been quite bad about traffic. Um, once I get the road with trees, this <coughs> main thoroughfare is gonna get much wider. Um, but maybe to, since this is being used so much, I'll build this like side one as well. that I broke. This is still a very traffic heavy spot. Alright. Hmm. Wonder why. Maybe it's because it's the only way to get to the industrial area from there? I mean, like, I recognize that getting onto the highway is always going to be a traffic -y area. I should probably, ah, uh, fuck. I should probably bulldoze, like, all the shit around here and put in a roundabout, because roundabouts are really good. Oh, is, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Someone posting on Twitter about where their keys are. <laughs> yeah, that's a common, um, like, joke that they do. Uh, okay, so if I wanted to put in a roundabout... big roundabout. Uh, here. Maybe small roundabout? Maybe small roundabout would be enough. Mm. What if I did it like right here and then just change the way those things work? like all of this. Let's put in a large roundabout. Like so. We'll go to these guys. And 
this will connect to the roundabout. And let's see. This will connect to the roundabout like that. already occupied by the firehouse, of course. Um, relocate the building. This is going to be tough, too, because the I built the thing there. Um, and these are hard to relocate because you have to empty them before you can do anything with them. Which means I'm gonna have to build another one of these. Like here, I guess. This is very heavy, but will should improve once I increase that the size of that road. Hopefully, maybe if I make some more connectors between the two as well. if you want. How about now? What I need is more exits from the highway, but I can't build more exits from the highway unless I buy this neighboring land chunk, so let's see how much it would cost to buy this land neighboring land chunk. Uh, only 5,000. I can do that. Okay. So now... Exiting from the highway is very difficult. Um, 
Highway ramp. I don't know if you know this, but it's very complicated to build things that go off the highway. So, okay, let's see. We'll do... Let's make this a curved road. So it'll go like... get that little, like, road ramp part to, to move. See how that, the, see how the peg is, like, right in the middle of the road? You need that to not be the case. Come on. Somehow. We can make this overpass. I, I have faith in you. We can do this. Come on. then, I'm just going to delete this last part, actually. Every time I get on and off the highway, I always think about this game and how difficult this is to do properly. No. To ground level. About here. Okay, and then you are also going to come off the highway in this general direction. And then you're both going to connect to a regular road that just goes here uh, in a straight line. <laughs> yeah, presumably, yeah, when you like can actually draw the shape you want instead of having something this complex. Um, okay, and now let's be able to get back onto the highway on this side. Uh, uh and let's see if we can make a big curvy one that gets back on on the other side, which is going to be. No, it's not going to work. Um, it's going to have to come all the way around the highway and then come back is the thing. Um, See what we can do here. Oh, I had it there for just a sec. There we go. It's not beautiful, but, uh, so if you ever wonder yourself, like, why are, the, why are, like, highway getting on configurations so weird? Because that. Look how hard it is to get something to go, like, on and off the highway in both directions. Alright, let's see how that helped traffic, if at all. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that moved traffic a lot. Traffic is now mostly on that side and not this side. To, that's going to have to be a thoroughfare. Well, this is going to be a two-way thoroughfare, and this will be an upgrade. And I intentionally did not build anything right next to this so that it would be okay when I did this. There you go.
Really? It's not. There. Oh, hey, I've got my wind turbines that can be placed in the water. Those are nice. How's traffic look now? Mostly people getting off the highway that are clogging that up, I think. I could also make this just a getting on the highway spot and then make like a getting off the highway spot over here or vice versa. That might simplify things a little bit. Okay, this place though is done with the whole emptying thing, which means I can bulldoze it, which means I can upgrade that street. I don't know what's occupying this space. Like buildings. Oh, it doesn't like this that it conflicts with that road, I guess. No, well, there's not a lot of traffic trouble there, so maybe it's fine. Especially if I just throw a little thing across there, in case anybody wants to cross there. Okay. Average traffic flow is good. Traffic is one thing I have a lot of trouble uh, with in this game. Look at that, it's easing up. I wonder if I should just put a big roundabout here in preparation for things, but
this up and that will... Oh, I didn't mean to make that part big. Make me small. And boom. Look at that. Connectivity. Apparently I need a lot of residential right now. So let's do that. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I can build roads that uh, intersect the park. Okay. Uh, abandoned stuff down here. Possibly because it's like difficult to get to for people. So in order to work there. Okay, landfill uses is at max. So I should put back in that other landfill that I like temporarily displaced. Oh shit, see this is this is how the plague is gonna start. Look how much garbage there is that like hasn't been collected. I'm gonna build a new clinic just in case. Um put it over here next to this big old rock. Maybe a cemetery as well. Again, just in case. And do we need a third landfill? Couldn't hurt. Alright. Some of the... No. Everybody still needs their garbage taken away. So yeah, building a landfill makes, uh, like each landfill has a certain number of trucks, I think, that it can do. Yeah, so garbage trucks in use 15 of 15, 14 of 15, right? So this one is full, um, so no garbage trucks will, like none of its garbage trucks can be used. Um, it's 13 of 15, this is 10 of 15. So these ones are filling, this is 5% full and 12% full. Eventually, I'll unlock um, like garbage incineration, and then I can start unfilling these landfills. But that will be a little bit. Can Can you draw electricity from garbage incineration? Um, I think a little bit. I don't know. Okay, apparently this place is not getting electric. So let's do that. Thing. 
electric in general. Good. Water, good. Residential in high demand. Uh, let's fill up this whole area with like a nice little That's a nice little residential neighborhood there. school maybe. Oh, we have high schools now. Let's say, let's put a high school here and one like over. Oh, I don't have enough money for another high school. Okay. High schools are expensive, you guys. <laughs> exactly, jet lag. And they complain about all this tree cutting, but I'm just trying to give them houses. Listen, if you wanna, if you love the trees so much, go live in them. There's plenty over here. schools here somewhere? Yeah. Maybe I should build the high school like right next to the elementary school. So they can share facilities, you know. Do, do, 
2000 Oh yay, we got we've got roads with trees now. That's what I want everything to be, it's just pretty roads with trees. We got police headquarters, we got fire station as opposed to firehouse. We got hospitals. All of those are important. But I do love me some roads with trees. So as do the residents. tree-lined main drags. Okay, power is low. Let's get another power station. Hopefully that will help. And then we'll just wait until we have enough money to make one of these big buildings. I think hospital first. I think hospital would be nice. We'll put a hospital along the main drag, maybe. Ooh, or along this drag. That would be good. They're very expensive, though. I should probably build, like, fill in some more of these streets so I can put in residential when the time comes. some residential living.
Okay, sewer and water treatment is taken care of. Electric. Man, so demanding. Build some more little parks. Little dog park over here. Do not look at the dog park. <laughs> do I not have higher level zones yet? I do not. I have not unlocked higher level zones yet. Eventually, I'll be able to de zone this as like dense residential, um, which will like make skyscrapers and things. How's traffic? And now traffic. All right, traffic is pretty backed up. Getting onto the highway. So let's give them another way to get onto the highway. Okay, and then There's now a way to get onto the highway from that side. And in both directions. Hopefully that will help a little. dense zones, including office zone is the dense uh, fishing island. Huh. I've never seen that before. And I have a university. And the metro. So we can also build metros instead of building buses. I'm tempted to bulldoze getting onto the highway from here. And then just make that one way getting into the city, rather. Um, um, and let's actually make this last part one way.
No, that's actually not great for. Um, that's not great for the businesses there, because um, <laughs> then it to, to leave the business you have to get on the highway, um, which I assume they probably don't want. Uh, I should increase the size of this zone in case I put any industry here, just to reiterate that this is a forestry only industry zone. Not that I plan on putting a lot of additional industry here, but just in case. can start going all the way up to the edge of the highway. Now, this is a little bit more as I expected it to be, which is people coming in have to use the side with the roundabout. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of that intersection because it's it can be bad for um, things to have intersections too close together. Um, because that slows down traffic. Was it a park with trees? Was it? People can turn off that street and onto that street, but that's like all T intersections. I might even take out the some of the middle ones as well. That's not too bad though. a lot of intersections on these. I can maybe do like every other intersection instead of the way it is. What would happen if I take out just that end? Um... I know I have these ones available, that's fine. What if I just build, like, not quite to the edge here? That's going to be industry, but then next industry is going to be offices, probably. Instead of connecting to each other, or connecting to the highway there, what if they connected to each other? Like. What is that? Just make like a big snaky um, I 
actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's see that. I'm always, this is like the, one of the aspects of the game I'm most curious about is like, how do you make a really good, um, traffic system? like this. Oh shit, I completely cut that thing off. <laughs> that was not what I intended to do. Um, traffic actually like work itself out a little here. I can also upgrade the size I think of these roundabouts possibly. Okay, not there apparently but Just reconnect here. Oh no, I've made it all worse. The game is just like, uh, industrial zoning? Hello? Are you going to do any of that? Offices? No? too bad. Maybe I want one intersection in like the middle of this road to kind of ease up a little there. Like here maybe? people stopping at this intersection like the whole point of a roundabout is that you don't stop
Yeah, maybe he got like, maybe a little, I don't know, not ticks, but some kind of bug bite that just there happened to be a couple of them. like it's working. Hard to be sure, but it seems like it might be working. And then we do the same thing like over here on this side. Or I do like boop, boop, boop. just piling up. How about I install some incinerators finally? Okay. Now we can process some garbage. And let's put in like an office area. Have places to work. How are we doing on water? Water is good. Is good. All right. Let's build some like fancy places, like a hospital maybe, or fire safety. It's okay. Healthcare. Seventy four percent. What about education? We could build one university, I suppose. We have a university. Um, let's build a hospital. Hospital can be like here. Do 
have a dis where's my disconnected power grid? I don't think I have a disconnected power grid. Maybe I should put a power grid here just in case it does end up getting disconnected. Wow, look how quickly that office park shot up. Let's make this stuff actually like high zone commercial. so the people at the office park can have some place cool to go to for lunch. I think that's important. That they have like a good place to go. Bye Jackie. Thanks for stopping by. I should probably like sign off soon and have lunch because I haven't had lunch. So let's make this high residential. Of each of the new types, and yeah, we'll just let it roll for a bit. Why oh, no, I'm losing population? Oh, that's just because I destroyed so many houses there, so the high rises could go in. Sorry, folks who are living there. Oh, did I really place these so badly? I guess I did. Oops. Oh well. How's garbage processing going? Landfill usage 81 percent. These things are doing their job though. Oh yeah, that makes enough room for exactly one more. Fantastic. Once I have enough money for it. It's 2023. Here, I mean. garbage processing in one place. That's a pretty nice little city there. How's traffic? Hmm. 
Mike is okay. I wonder if I don't want to bring back this connection here. First thing off the highway. Um, see how that does. Hmm. I should start putting in subway stops, probably. Really, I do not have nearly enough money, though. I think this might have to be it for now, just because I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna go have some lunch. Uh, but thank you, everybody. Thank you all for for being here for um, for the watch my face. Um, stream city. Um, for the doki doki. Appreciate it. Um, thank you all for being here, for help keeping me company, making me less scared with my, uh, with the doki dokies. Um, it's been nice hanging with everybody. And uh, I may or may not stream tomorrow morning. Right now I'm leaning towards not. Huck and I were originally going to stream some more um, Secret of Mana, but it's starting to get frustrating enough that uh, we might just give up. Um, I remembered, by the way, where we were in Secret of Mana. It was that wall with the eyes yeah. that was, like, descending. Yeah. Um, so, we'll see. I might take that week uh, tomorrow off and then just start something else next week. Um, yeah, thanks for coming. If I don't, if I don't see you before then, be sure to look for the Doki Doki Literature Podcast, uh, this Sunday in the evening. Bye, folks.